Hey everybody, it's Michelle from Michelle's Garden. Welcome today. We're going to be water bath canning sweet potatoes. And because water bath canning is such a, uh, gosh, a heated discussion with a lot of people, I have to come on here and let you know that um, water bath canning sweet potatoes is not USDA recommended. And that this is just something that I choose to do, how I choose to can my sweet potatoes and I just have to let you know that so um, and I I don't like to use rebel canning because to me it's it's not rebel canning it is water bath canning that's what I was taught I enjoy it I thoroughly enjoy it and um, I got this recipe um, you'll see in my video um, I'm just sitting here at the table after everything's almost done the sweet potatoes are in the canner but you guys will see that in a little bit and um, I just wanted to let you know again to go to a channel called make it make because that's where I got this recipe and it's an Amish recipe and um, also I just wanted to welcome my new subscribers and um, if you're interested in what my channel is all about it's going to be about gardening it's going to be about cooking canning you know like in the colder months if I don't have anything in the garden to show you I'm going to try to you know show you some things that I cook and when I'm canning I'm going to show you what I'm canning and if I'm out in the yard building something I'm going to show you that I'm building something and it might look like um, Dr. Seuss built it but it don't matter to me I'll get out there and try I like to at least try you know because um, I'm thinking about building some raised beds, you know, later on in the season. Um, everything's time and money, though. But um, the reason why I'm telling you this is because I started out looking for gardening videos, and a couple of gardening videos that I found, and I'm not calling out any names. I'm just letting you know that when I started watching gardening two years ago was to learn everything that I could about growing food and when a channel gets to be really popular and they move away from what they started out being it's like they don't I can't relate to somebody who's not backyard gardening um, I still watch those channels I still enjoy watching those channels but I don't get as much information from them that I need you know and so I want to try to to stick to that I want to I'm a backyard gardener and I want to stick to backyard gardening you know of course I would like to grow my gardening experiences into a business if I could but I don't want to get away from you know relating to that backyard gardener or somebody who's just learning to can or something like that um, you know a lot of this we're learning together um, but I really enjoy water bath canning and I hope you guys enjoy this video and I thank you for subscribing and I hope you um, enjoy my content um, and I hope you guys enjoy your day so let's get over here and get some sweet potatoes going okay guys so here are my cubed sweet potatoes I brought the sweet potatoes in I washed them really really well I cubed them with the skin on them. I put them in a pot of hot boiling water for three minutes is really good enough. You can do three to five minutes. Then I took them out let them cool off. I skinned them and I put these in water to, you know, to keep them from turning. I don't know if sweet potatoes turn like potatoes do. So I've got that far. Over here I've got the canner going. We are going to water bath can these. Um, back here I've got my rings in water. Um, this is the mixture that's going to go in this sweet potato jar. It's, it's going to be the liquid that goes in there. Okay, it's The Amish recipe calls for two cups of water to one cup of sugar. Okay, I'm going to try to get these four pint jars filled. I don't have enough sweet potatoes for quart jars. So, I put six cups of water to three cups of sugar to, just to ensure that I have enough liquid for this. So, we're going to put all this together and we're going to get it in the canner. 
All right, so let's get started. We're going to try to get, I'm just packing these in here. Um, they're not cooked or anything, sort of like cold pack. Um, just to the bottom of the rim there. Move over to some wide mouth. I wanted to try wide mouth and um, some regular mouth. Just bounce that down a little bit and get them in there. I think I've actually got more sweet potatoes than I thought I would have. So I have not water bath canned sweet potatoes before. Like I said, this was a an Amish recipe that I got from, um, there's one that's got a bad spot on it. Take that out. Well, it's called Make It Make. There's another one. Have any with bad spots on them. Make sure you take them out. Uh, make it make. She has an Amish series for water bath canning, and this that's where I got this recipe from. So if you guys want to check that out, you know, just to make sure I got all this right. So I feel like that is enough to the bottom of the rim there. Okay, so I'm going to put my liquid in here. Get this in right here. This is a syrup liquid. And you're going to fill that right to the bottom rim. I'll show you that right here in a second. See, like right here. Oop, let me get you down here in the camera. Right there is where you're going to fill it to. And move over to the next jar. It's probably working from this uh, back burner because of the cabinet being in the way. So this has turned out to be uh, plenty for um, four pint jars, plenty of liquid. I was really hoping to be able to do quart jars, but I just didn't have enough sweet potatoes. And I'm sure that uh, you should would be better to use a, a stainless steel pot if you have one. Um, I see a lot of people who do canning use stainless steel and I normally do. I just don't have a small enough one for this little project. Okay guys, so now that you got them filled up with your liquid. We are going to debubble. Just go around your jar. Get all the air out of it. You know, if you don't have any sweet potatoes that you have grown yourself, um, I honestly, I don't know why you couldn't do this with store-bought sweet potatoes. Or if you could find some locally grown at a farmer's market, maybe, in your area. Alright. Now I have this paper towel and I've got some white distilled vinegar. I'm going to rub all around the top of these jars. Maybe get just a little bit more. Now 
I keep my jars in the oven to keep them warm while I'm busy preparing all this other stuff. Okay, so let's get the ring out. I'm going to say, okay. So guys, I always try to be careful not to touch the underside of my lids. I just like for everything to be as sanitized as possible or as uh, clean as possible. finger tight um, I have to say that I was trying to do this video with my camera my vlogging camera because um, I'm shooting this with my phone right now and I had somebody tell me when I did my potato video canning video that it looked like I was turning my lids counterclockwise so I was trying to shoot it with my um, camera to see if it changed it and I couldn't find a piece that I needed to put my camera on a tripod so I am shooting this with my phone and if it looks like I'm turning my lids counterclockwise I assure you I'm not okay so there we are we're going to stick these in the camera um, I'm not too concerned with only having four jars in here and then moving around I've canned four jars of salsa before and it was fine. Okay, so we're going to lower this in the water. And since I've been letting my canner sit for quite a while, I don't have enough water, so I'm going to put some more water to this right quick. So I've got these in the canner. I did only have four pint jars. I'm going to get this up to a rolling boil. And when you get this up to a rolling boil, I put my lid on. And you're going to let it boil for one hour. Let me show you the recipe that I've got right here. I wrote it down. Well, that's not going to look very clear to you guys, but... But uh, cut your sweet potatoes into cubes, boil them in hot water for three to five minutes, peel the skins off, um, you put them in your jars, fill them with your liquid and water bath for one hour. And your liquid is two cups of water to one cup of sugar. And you heat that and dissolve it and put it in your jars and you know if you feel like you need more of the liquid, you know, just double or triple that combination. Um, now when these come out of the canner, I'll show you what they look like. And we'll put the lid on this to try to bring it up to boil a little bit quicker. And once again, I did get this recipe from a channel called Make It Make. Um, her Amish series, very good series. Um, I think you guys should check it out. Uh, she not only does um, the Amish series, but I mean she does a lot of canning. And it's just really awesome. So you guys check that out. And come back here in just an hour and we will see what these look like when they come out in the pot. Okay everybody, it's evening time now and I've got my sweet potatoes out of the canner. Don't those look awesome? They actually, actually look more orange like from this angle, but they've turned out really well. All of them have sealed and I'm really happy with it. They just look great. So thanks for hanging out with me today and canning some sweet potatoes. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, I would like to do this again. 
I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll try canning again, canning some sweet potatoes. I think they look awesome. So thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. I'll see you again. Bye.